I have an obfuscated JavaScript here that I want uh, to analyze. Let's take a look. So this uh, obfuscated JavaScript uh, script contains expression like the following one, uh, a list of strings, uh, office, model, dialect, and then something informer. Now that something here is a Unicode character uh, code. And that string here, the last string in that list, uh, is also passed on to the E function. Uh, here you can see a call of the E function for this string. Now if we look uh, a bit further here in the script, you can see here the definition of that uh, E function. So the E function does a caret of uh, the argument it receives. So it, re it returns the first character of the string it uh, receives. So this expression here actually evaluates to the character represented represented by this uh, hex code 0074. And in JavaScript, when you evaluate a list of elements, like this list of strings, that list evaluates to the last element. So this whole expression here is actually an obfuscated way to just represent that character here by that hexadecimal code. So I'm going to use my translate function to uh, try to deobfuscate this uh, JavaScript. Now the option we are going to use here in my translate function is uh, the regex option. And this regex option allows you to pass a reg regular expression that will be matched with the file that is passed on to translate. And for every match that it finds, it will call a Python function that we pass it. And this Python function returns a string and the match regular expression is replaced by that return string of the function. So we are looking for a parentheses and then we want it to match everything except another parentheses and then we are going to match a backslash u uh, for that Unicode encoded character. So let's already test this simple uh, regular expression uh, on the file. Now in regular expressions a parentheses and a backslash have special meaning and we want to use not a special meaning, but a literal value. So we need to escape them. And escaping is done also with the backslash. So before the parentheses, we put a backslash and also before the backslash, another backslash like this. Then we can pass it the file and then the Python function. And this Python function receives the matching object. And then we can do some analysis, some uh, processing with a matching object. But here in the first step, we are just going to replace this with the character X like this. Okay. So in here, you can already see a first result at that first string here. Mm, that beginning of that first list and strings is just replaced with X character. And then we have the hexadecimal value in former quote and the function E. Okay. So let's continue our regular expression to match the complete list. So here we expect four hexadecimal characters. So an hexadecimal character that's between 0 and 9 or A and F. And we expect four of these. So this much is the hexadecimal value. Then we have another string of letters. So let's match this. A single quote, a dot, and a call to the E function, and then closing the list. Now a dot has special meaning, so we need to escape that, and parentheses also, so let's escape them like this. And when we run this here, we can already see that our uh, script is much smaller, and each of the lists has, has been replaced by the character X. Okay. Now, of course, instead of the character X, we want the character 
that is represented by that hexadecimal function. Sorry, hexadecimal expression. So we are going to select that hexadecimal expression so that we can process it further. We are going to put it into a, a group. And to put an expression, a matched expression into a group, you just enclose it with parentheses. Uh, you don't have to escape the parentheses because we are not matching an uh, parentheses, but we are using it to indicate that we want to match a group. So that's what we've done here in our regular expression. And now, in our matching object, we can take the groups and select the first group, like this. And now you can see here that we have each time the hexadecimal code of the character. Now we don't want that hexadecimal code, we want the actual character. So we need to convert this to a character, that's with the CHR function. Now the CHR function expects an integer, not an hexadecimal value, so we are going to convert that hexadecimal value with the int function and a base 16 from hexadecimal to integer value, like this. And now you can already see the characters, a, a T and an I, and this makes up the string this, this. And here you can read ActiveX object, okay? So what is missing here is that each of the characters that we calculated needs to be enclosed with single quotes. So let's do this. The ASCII value for a single quote is 39. So let's call char. Put this before the character and after the character, like this. Okay. And now we have our strings here that can just be concatenated together to easily read what they represent. I can do that concatenation simply, in this case here, by replacing that plus with uh, nothing. And for that we can use uh, the stream editor. So I'm going to search for single quote space plus single quote, and then replace this with nothing globally, like this. And here we have our deobfuscated strings, this, the ActiveX object, and also the URL from where the payload is downloaded by this uh, malicious uh, JavaScript.